The Democratic presidential race is kicking into high gear, and Senator Bernie Sanders is surging with the Nevada caucuses just days away. A new CNN poll, a poll, shows him with a strong 12-point lead over Joe Biden after a hard-fought victory last week in the New Hampshire primary. My next guest is a Sanders supporter. Ed Lingar is with us. He is a CNN op-ed contributor. And, Ed, you recently wrote this piece on CNN.com where you explain how you once supported the Libertarian party. So take us through this. How did you come to support a candidate like Bernie Sanders from being a libertarian? Well, Brianna, thanks for having me. And you know, this sort of march leftward makes perfect sense if you think about Nevada. So I'm from here. I'm from the rurals. We have a long history of libertarianism where you know, we support LGBTQ rights, we believe in marijuana legalization. So all the social issues, you know, match up very nicely with what happens mm -hmm. on the left. What I discovered in my own life was that, you know, I grew, up in Re I grew up in Nevada and now I live in Reno where the housing collapse just decimated us. And the government came in, they had all this money. Well, in 2008, we're gonna give billions of dollars to who? Banks to bail us out. And I realized then that we already live in a very sort of government-controlled socialist economy, but it's available for those people that already have money, right? The rest of us can just pound sand or suffer or go off and die early as the statistics show as people you know, struggle more and more with their finances and they've got these deaths of addiction. It's because the government is here to protect you if you're rich, if you're wealthy and well connected, just like the people Donald Trump just gave pardons and commutations to. If you're rich, we got all kinds of benefits. We're going to take care of you. So uh, when I realized that the government was already involved in the economy and taking care of all this, I realized how foolish it was just to say, hey, regular people, your own bootstraps, you're going to suffer, whatever it may be, while the wealthy are wrapped in this gossamer cocoon of delight and protected from any harm. I love your way with words. I will definitely say that, Ed. And it's so interesting to hear your perspective on this. I want to know about uh, something that we saw last night. This was Bernie Sanders on a CNN town hall, and he said he's not planning to release his medical records, additional records that he said he would release before he suffered a heart attack. Now he's suffered one uh, this last fall, and he's not going to. I want for you, as a supporter of Bernie Sanders, as you've sort of looked at that corporate socialism and said, hey, I want something that helps more Americans and uh, Americans who are not wealthy, uh, I know you're for Bernie Sanders in that regard, but what do you think about this? Should he release these records? You know, I put some thought into this, and I have to say, what drives me insane about this Trump era we're in is how Trump can break all the rules. He hasn't released his medical records. He's an old man himself. You know, he's got God knows what kind of health problems. But consistently, he only does what he absolutely has to do. And we ask every other candidate to play by a much tougher set of rules. And we come down on him. And why aren't you being so forthright with your medical records, Bernie Sanders, when we don't hold Trump to that same account, we're fighting this battle with this person who's willing to do anything, to break any law, to break any norm, and yet we're still holding his opponents to the same standard. Now, I would like it if there was more, you know, uh, forthrightness, if people were honest, if we had transparency, yet I can't really hold Bernie Sanders to some standard I'm not willing to hold Donald Trump to. And not are you, only well, that, let me but ask when you start are you not, releasing... Are you not willing to hold Donald Trump to that standard, or is it just that you feel he isn't held to that? I mean, would you like to see him held to that standard and if so, why shouldn't Bernie Sanders be held to that standard? Well, you know, uh, I would love to see him held to that standard. And if he didn't break every norm, particularly things like releasing his tax return or releasing his medical records, you know, why do we come and then we're going to shame and tut-tut other people who, you know, might not want to release their medical records? Because there's a lot in there, let's be honest with you. Years, a lifetime of medical records, my own medical records. I'm young and relatively healthy. There's a million things in there I don't want people to see or be released or that can be taken and twisted and misconstrued. So if we're not going to hold the President of the United States States to a standard. It seems really sort of petty that we're going to hold every single other person to this standard or we're going to really question whether they have the judgment of the presidency. And this sort of, you know, fake comparison between what Trump has been able to get away with and what we demand of other people is driving me crazy. It's driving this country insane. You know, this we just there is nothing that can be done. There's no standard that he can be held to. And then we're going to put this on other candidates. I don't think it's fair. And if I were Bernie Sanders, I would, you know, look at this and judge it based on what I think the best move is. And I think that's what he's doing. 
He clearly does think it's the best move. Um, Edwin Lingar, Ed, thank you so much. This was a pleasure talking to you. It was a delight. Uh, thanks for having me on. Uh, what was the gossamer? What was? What did you say it was? Gossamer. A gossamer cocoon, cocoon of love and <laughs> warmth. You know, we just wrap the rich in just this warm, loving embrace. Yeah. They're never going to suffer. Don't you worry. America's coddled wealthy will never have to pay. Don't you worry. All right. It was a delight, Ed. We'll talk to you <laughs> soon, hopefully. Thank you Thank so you much. Joining much. us from Reno, Hope Nevada. So. CNN is hosting two more.